You drinking, Namba? Oh, Ichiban. I'm glad you're here. We need to talk. We do? Is it something serious? Look, I need to tell you I'm sorry. For lying. You mean about chasing the counterfeit bill? Yeah. I think you can forgive me. Come on, you know we're past that. What's important is your brother got released. All's well that ends well, right? That said, maybe now's a good time to tell me if there's any other holes in your story. You really were a nurse at some point, right? Well, of course I was a nurse. How else could I have brought you back from the brink of death? Good point. Then, what about the part where you sold hospital meds? Didn't you say that's how you got your nursing license revoked? Well, that's the short version, but it's more complicated, actually. What do you mean? <sighs> You'll be the first person I've ever told this to, so... I hope you plan on sitting for a while. Ha, <laughs> man! I'm all ears! Back in elementary school, I read about Florence Nightingale. That's when I knew I was meant to be a nurse. Helping the sick, people being grateful for it. It's all I ever wanted in life. But when I finally put on my scrubs, it was different. Endless late shifts, difficult patients, never a word of thanks. Eventually, I just stopped caring. Little by little, I started cutting corners any way I could. I'd pretend not to hear the intercom, and instead, I'd go doze off somewhere. By the time I hit 40, I had no idea why I ever went into the field. But then one day, this new girl named Mizue showed up. And in her introduction, she brought up who else but Nightingale. Just like you, huh? <laughs> we had the same role model, but she still had her spirit. She would rush toward every patient in the ward, never missed a beat. On top of that, she always had the sweetest smile. So, you had a thing for her. Are you kidding me? She was 23 and a looker. And I was just a middle-aged loser. So what? You totally look younger than you are. You, uh, think so? For sure! If you told me you were in your 20s or, hell, your teens, I'd believe it. God damn it, Ichiban. <laughs> Sorry. That was a good one, though. You got me. Anyway, back to Mizue-chan. What happened? No, oh, that's right. Whenever I saw her working, I could feel my old self coming back. That young version of me, who used to give it his all. Well, that's a good sign. If only I had half her stamina and wasn't twice her age. Anyway, one night I was a little sleepier than usual. So I went out to the back lawn, thinking maybe I could sneak in a nap. And suddenly, I heard a noise from behind. I turned around to find the storeroom we keep the medicine in wide open. And Mizue-chan was walking out alone. Was she restocking? I mean, if you were slacking off, she was probably having to bust her ass. Well, that's the thing. In our hospital, only the pharmacists have access to the storeroom. Mizue-chan and I were just nurses. We didn't even need to go in there. Then what was she doing? Well, at the time, there was a rumor floating around the hospital. Uh-oh. Medicine would keep disappearing. The list never matched the inventory. According to the rumors, someone was swiping medicine and selling it. Illegally. No way. And that was Mizue-chan? It was. As my eyes adjusted, I could clearly see her arms were full of medicine boxes. But why would she need to sell medicine? From what I heard, her parents were under a mountain of debt. So, to lighten some of their load, Mizue-chan was paying everything she could. But a single nurse's salary wouldn't get them out of the hole. No way. So she was stealing the meds to do it? Yep. And I was the sole eyewitness. Thing is, Mizue-chan never noticed me there. Now, if it was you, Ichiban, what would you have done? Well, calling her out on it would seem to be the right thing to do. But I guess she wasn't stealing it just to be a criminal, huh? Not in the slightest. She was only doing it for her family. I mean, yeah, she was breaking the law. 
but she wasn't trying to hurt anyone. Plus, getting caught would cost her her job. Then the debt would only have gotten worse. With all that in mind, I'd say it's a pretty tough call to make. <laughs> now you're on the same page I was. Anyway, in the end, all I could do was watch her walk away without saying a word. If there ever was a criminal who deserved a free pass, it was Mizuhei-chan. That was what I thought at the time, so I turned a blind eye. And? What happened after that? It wasn't long before Mizuhei-chan's actions caught up with her. The hospital director decided to get the police involved and started gathering evidence. He waited that long to take action? Well, he was trying to resolve it internally, being that the hospital's reputation was at stake. I guess he got sick of having a thief under his nose, so he escalated it to the next logical step. But if the cops caught Mizuhei-chan stealing, that'd be bad news. She'd have a police record and her name in all the papers. To be honest, it was only a matter of time. She had her whole life ahead of her. How could that happen to someone so young? And on the other hand, you've got me. A guy who totally burned out. A guy who couldn't be further from Florence Nightingale. Better a saint like Mizuhei-chan stay at the hospital than a sack of shit like me, wouldn't you say? Namba? Are you telling me you... Yeah. I went up and confessed to the whole thing. Stealing, selling and all. And that's how you lost your nursing license? Yep. No, oh, and I got fired too. Naturally. Man, you went all out for that girl. Did she ever contact you after that? Even a call or a letter? Not that I'm aware. In a matter of hours, I was out of a job and out on the streets. You regret any of it? Well, my brother disappeared not long after, so even if I didn't get canned, I would have quit on my own anyway. So, no, to answer your question. Though I do have to admit, I would like to see Mizuhei-chan off when she goes overseas. She's going overseas? Yeah. She always dreamed of running off to some developing country where they really need medical professionals. She took that Nightingale shit seriously. Our hospital had an international dispatch program, available to staff nurses with at least three years tenure. This year would be Mizuhei-chan's third, and I know she would take advantage of it. Well, in that case, why not go say farewell? <sighs> if only I could. For starters, I don't even know when she leaves. Maybe if you ask one of your old nurse buddies, they'll tell you? Don't be ridiculous. I'm the little rat who stole the medicine if you forgot that detail. They want nothing to do with me. Well, hello, boys. Don't worry, the life of the party's here. Care to bring me up to speed? Oh, Sachan. Wait, are you drunk? <laughs> I think you're drunk. Uh, now, fill me in, if you please. Oh, Namba here was going off on one of his hobo horror stories again. Hobo? Horror stories? Well, no house means no toilet, right? Care to guess what he had to do when he had the shits? Yeah, I'd rather not. And here I was, thinking I'd get actual substance out of two grown men instead of literal crap. <sighs> Thanks for covering for me. I got you, man. I don't mind if we let Sayako know at some point, but preferably not when she's plastered. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Hey, Namba! You thinking what I'm thinking? If it's a drink you want, I can't. I have to take care of some shopping. You? Shopping? It's for the bartender. Uh, he told me he'd give me an extension on my tab if I ran a couple errands for him. <sighs> Pain in the ass all the same. Man, you are getting a much better deal than he is. Uh, maybe so. In any case, I'll see you around. Okay, see you in a bit. Running around doing manual labor at my age. Where did I go wrong?
So, Namba and Mizue-chan. I assume you're hatching a plan to reunite them? Hold on. How in the heck did you... Eavesdropping on customers has never been my policy. But you two hardly count. You mean you were listening in when Namba was pouring his heart out? Not like I tried to. I just happened to be at the counter and something he said made me put two and two together. What do you mean? There's a bar I go to every so often. Just got themselves a new hostess. I believe her name's Futaba. What's she gotta do with Namba? Well, as it turns out, this Futaba had been a nurse up until just recently. She was telling me about her nursing life at the hospital and in the middle of her story, wouldn't you know it, a medicine theft turned up. She said a nurse who worked there, some guy, admitted to the theft before the cops could get involved. What? But that... that could only mean... I know. She had to have been talking about Namba. If that's true, then the two of them worked at the very same hospital. Naturally, I'd assume she would know when Mizue-chan is leaving. Have you told Namba any of this? No, not yet. Besides, he said it himself. He couldn't reach out to his colleagues even if he wanted to. On the other hand, I'm sure his drinking buddy could reach out on his behalf. I get you. Man, you came strong with that one. But listen, if you do go and meet Pataba, I wouldn't tell Namba if I were you. Yeah, wouldn't want to make it seem like I'm doing it behind his back. I figured as much. So I called Futaba's bar and spoke to the mama there. She said Futaba's on her way. She's on her way here? Wait, is that why you sent Namba shopping? Dude, how do you think that many moves ahead? Bringing people together is what a bartender does. All I can do is facilitate. The rest is up to you. Then I won't let this chance go to waste. Hey, so? My boss said you wanted to see me? Your Futaba-san? In the flesh. <sighs> Am I supposed to know you? No, I just wanted to ask you a few things. Uh, here, have a seat. How long's this gonna take? I'm off today, and I was planning to hit the pachinko parlor. Okay, I'll make it quick. And now listen, you were a nurse before, right? Yeah, and? One of your colleagues got fired for selling off meds. You remember who that was? God, how would I know? I'm sure you heard something. I'm thinking he's a friend of mine. Look, the only thing I know about it is that the guy was some four-eyed mope. Oh, that has to be Namba. <laughs> that name does ring a bell. Hey, hon. No way. Shut up! They raised the jackpot?! Babe, do not let anyone sit there! I'm on my way right now! Before you go, tell me, do you know anyone named Mizue-chan? She worked with you at the hospital Who and... Who even cares?! You're wasting my pachinko time! Wait, we're not done! Hey, guys. Namba, hey! Back already? Man, you shop quick. Yeah, well, I forgot the shopping list, so I had to come back and get it. Anyway, who was that walking out of here just now? Say what? I couldn't see her face or anything, but wasn't there a lady just in here? Nah, you need better glasses, man. Nobody came in or out of here, right, bartender? Uh, yeah. Huh? Is there a reason you two are acting suspicious as hell? Whoa, let's tone it down, buddy. Could it be the two of you were conspiring to throw me a surprise birthday party? Uh-huh. You knew I had a birthday coming up, so you two must have gotten together to plan the whole thing out. Uh, yup. You got us, man. Now the surprise is ruined. See, I knew it. You always go over the top when it comes to these things. So, what kind of party are we talking here? Give me a hint. I can't say much, but I was thinking we could get some pies up in here. Pies? Yeah, you ever see one of those old school comedies where they pie someone in the face? Oh yeah, that always looked like fun. Oh, just you wait. Till your birthday, that is. But I've said too much already. Wow, this is gonna be amazing. Oh, I can't wait to get a pie in the face.
All right. As soon as I'm back from the store, we are drinking. I'll be here, man. Oh, and you better not pull some I forgot my wallet crap again. Shoot. I actually did forget my wallet. <laughs> this guy. Hey, I see someone's in a good mood. <laughs> of course. I wanted to have a surprise party ever since I was a little kid. Right. Well, how's it coming along? The party plans, I mean. No, oh, uh... Great. Well, don't overthink it. I'm just grateful for the effort. No way. I I'm using practically all the brain power I have on this. Namba, can I borrow Kasuga for a moment? Why? What's going on? It's about your birthday. Wouldn't want to ruin the surprise, now would we? No, we sure wouldn't. <laughs> Go do your thing, Ichiban. Shall we? Kasuga? Sure. So I spoke on the phone with the mama who runs the bar. What bar? The one Futaba works at. Apparently she was caught stealing. She's stealing? I know. What's more, Futaba is apparently quite a playgirl. I hear her latest boyfriend has her hooked on Pachinko. Jeez. Anyway, the mama started crying and asked me to get back her money. Futaba should be over at Pirates, one of the local pachinko parlors. So she's gambling with stolen money? What a catch. Yeah, listen. Would you mind taking care of this? I think it'll be a good chance to get more details about Mizue-chan. Good idea. I can get the money and the info out of Futaba in one fell swoop. Excellent. Babe, you hungry for sushi or yakiniku? <laughs> Shit, why not both? You hit the freaking jackpot just now. <laughs> Baby, I am the jackpot. Hold up. Shouldn't you be giving that money back to your boss? <sighs> this loser again? What do you even want from me? A couple things. First, you need to give back the money you stole from your job. And second, I need info on Mizue-chan, a nurse you used to work with. Dreams of going overseas, helping people in need, any of that ring a bell? Anyway, I know she plans on leaving the country as part of a hospital program. I need to find out when. Yeah, well, what does she matter to you? Remember that guy Namba? The one who got busted selling meds? Turns out he didn't do a goddamn thing. It was actually all Mizue-chan. Granted, she only resorted to theft to pay off her parents' debt. But it was Namba who took the fall, admitting to the crimes himself. Yeah, I think he really had a thing for the chick, to be honest with you. Bottom line is, I want to help Namba see Mizue-chan off. And you're my ticket. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you think this is funny? Mizue would ever do something so honest. What do you mean? She said she was inspired by Florence Nightingale. Yeah? Then tell me, why'd she end up working at a bar in the shittiest part of Eugene show? Since when does she work at a bar? Ever since she realized her pay was so pathetic that she had to resort to stealing? That sound like a noble nurse to you? Wait, are you trying to tell me? That's right, dumbass. I'm Mizue. Utaba's just a hostess name. You're Mizue? You're nothing like Namba said. 
Oh, sure. The creep who could never keep his eyes off me. Just the thought of him makes me want to throw up. Though he did turn out to be a good patsy. Didn't see that one coming. Guess my little damsel in distress story won him over. Cute dumb boys are always looking for a chance to play hero. But what about your parents' big debt? Are you dense? I wanted some money to hit the pachinko slots with, and that's what I got. So, all that shit about going overseas, following in the footsteps of Nightingale? I can play such a convincing little angel. All that time I spent in my high school drama club literally paid off! And you're just fine letting Namba's sacrifice go to waste? Even if he hadn't intervened, I would have just kept on doing it. Not like it mattered. I knew I'd get busted eventually. Then I just drifted like a flower from city to city, man to man. Heartbreaking, isn't it? Yeah, I'm real torn up. You did my friend dirty there, lady. If he ever finds out he helped the fucking wicked witch, he'd die inside. Son of a bitch. You calling my girl names? I get it, but I'll fuck you up. Kick his ass, babe! Send him to my old emergency room! He's certainly welcome to try. Heck, I'll call the ambulance myself. <laughs> oh, yeah? I don't know, man. I'm feeling lucky today. In fact, I'm on a winning streak. Yo! Help me kill this scruffy piece of shit! Hell yeah! <laughs> I, I expect a meme by got. Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You are a hero. Oh, good. <laughs> that joke works. Yeah, perfect. Let's go. Hold up. <laughs> it's like money falling into slots. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect analogy. You can't really oh, like you with that one. Yeah, I just turned on auto battle at this point. Like, these guys pose no threat to us. Yeah, have, have we ever mentioned auto battle and how, like, you obviously want to turn on don't use skills for the love of God, don't use skills? I'm sure we have, but let's, it, you know what, it bears repeating? For the love of God, just turn on don't use skills. Yeah, the AI really sucks at mana management and will absolutely piss away all of your mana. Yup! Chico. Babe, wait! Atsushi John! Stop right there. You need to return what you stole. Barky! I figured out Futaba's real name. She can thank her boss for that. I, I can't believe Namba gave up his entire career. And for what? Perhaps he's better off not knowing the truth. Yeah, but isn't it wrong to hide this kind of stuff? Especially from a guy who's had my back. And you'd repay him by pushing him over the edge? Uh... Look. It's not my place to tell you what to do anyway. This is between you and Namba. You two are close. I know you'll do what's best. But how will I know what's best? Hey, uh, we're done here, right? I think I'll just leave the money here and go. Not so fast. <sighs> what now? You said you were in drama club, right? Yeah, so what? You owe me a favor. And don't try to weasel your way out. Uh... Okay. Sup, fellas? Hey, Chiban. Where have you been? All over. Prepping for your big birthday blowout. Damn, man. You're gonna drive me crazy with all this birthday talk. You sure you can't give me a hint? Nope. Not gonna spoil the surprise. Actually, there is one thing I've gotta ask. Yeah, what is it? When is your birthday, anyway? Dude, well, how can you plan a party if you don't even know the freaking date? Come on, I'm just double-checking. Get the facts straight. 
Excuse me. Is there a Nanbasan here? Mizue chan. Is that you? Nanbasan! Oh, it's been so long! Well, yeah, but what are you doing here? And that bag, does that mean? That's right. I'm transferring overseas like I've always dreamed. I fly out today. Wow. So that dream is about to come true. Good for you, Mizui chan. Before that, I need to apologize. I let you take the fall from me without a second thought. Uh, don't mention it. I was a piss poor nurse anyway. I'm happy it was you who stayed. But you sacrificed everything for me! Uh, it was worth it. As long as you're happy, I don't have any regrets. If you're gonna be like Nightingale, you got some big shoes to fill, right? <laughs> I'll be rooting for you from here. <sighs> Thank you. That means a lot. I hate to cut this short, but I need to catch my plane. No problem. And take care of yourself. So long, Miss Wichon. I'm happy for you, bro. You know what? So am I. Isn't that cool, though? She came out of her way just to see you. Uh, she didn't do much. You, on the other hand, that was cool. Huh? What's that even mean? What happened just now? I know that was all you're doing. Wait, then what else do you know about Mizue-chan? Well, I overheard the bartender talking on the phone. So, I pretty much know everything. Then why'd you play dumb? I don't know. Maybe it just feels good when people are being nice to me. Well, fuck me. I really thought I pulled that one off. <laughs> in friendship, you get what you give. And that includes trying to trick people. I'm sorry, man. I didn't want to trick you, but I didn't want to watch you get hurt either. No need to apologize. It's on me to accept that Mizue-chan wasn't who I thought she was. I'm just glad I have a friend like you around, Ichiban. Namba... Ah, forget it. As I recall, we were gonna have a drink. Yeah, you're damn right. <laughs>